The James Webb Space Telescope is shaking up what we thought we knew about the universe's beginnings. We might need to rewrite textbooks. Galaxies like our Milky Way, which has 100 billion stars and is billions of years old, usually take a very long time to form. But the JWST, located 390 light years away, has made some surprising discoveries. For reference, one light year equals six trillion miles. Imagine looking at the Milky Way through a huge lens. Interestingly, galaxies can also act as lenses. Scientists were baffled when the JWST found six new galaxies that shouldn't exist. Telescopes allow astronomers to look back in time to see how galaxies formed over thousands of years, but no one expected what the JWST does to recently observed. These new galaxies challenge our current understanding of cosmology. The findings seem to violate established scientific laws. What are these new galaxies? How did the JWST find them? What do these discoveries mean for our understanding of the universe? Join us in this video as we explore how the JWST detected these unexpected structures. The field of cosmology, the study of the universe's largest scale, is exciting and interesting research. As our technology advances, so does our ability to explore the depths of space and uncover beautiful new perspectives. At the forefront of this cosmic exploration is the JWST, named after astronomer James E. Webb. It is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, with a main mirror 6.5 meters in diameter comprising 18 hexagonal sections that open like an origami flower. This large mirror, along with its advanced infrared equipment, allows the JWST to peer into the beginning of the universe. It captured the light of the first galaxies that emerged 250 million years after the Big Bang. The mission of the JWST is to change our understanding of the universe. Its purpose is to reveal the mysteries of the creation of the universe, show the birth of stars and galaxies, the evolution of cosmic structures, and the possible existence of exoplanets. By observing distant objects emitting light in the infrared spectrum, the JWST can reveal the depths of the universe by penetrating dust clouds invisible to visible light. The discovery of new galaxies has huge implications in the field of cosmology. Each newly discovered galaxy represents a piece of the cosmic puzzle and provides clues about its composition and evolution. By studying distant galaxies, astronomers can understand the formation of stars and planets, the distribution of dark matter and dark energy, and the general structure of the universe. The JWST's ability to detect faint, distant galaxies has led to new discoveries. In July 2022, the camera captured images of a galaxy that existed only 620 million years after the Big Bang, the most distant galaxy ever seen. These observations push our understanding of the early universe to new frontiers and reveal the first galaxies to emerge from ancient chaos. What makes this telescope so special and wonderful? The JWST is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built. It is an infrared telescope, meaning it is designed to detect light in the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The main mirror of the JWST is 6.5 meters in diameter, three times the size of the Hubble Space Telescope, HST. This means the JWST collects four times more light than Hubble, allowing it to see objects far, far away. The JWST is also cooler than Hubble, operating at minus 218 degrees Celsius. The lower temperature allows radiation devices to operate more efficiently, making them more sensitive to weak infrared light. The Hubble operates at minus 13 degrees Celsius, while the JWST operates at minus 218 degrees Celsius. The JWST also has four instruments, each designed to study a different part of the spectrum. A near-infrared camera is the main instrument designed to image in the near-infrared spectrum, the part of the infrared spectrum closest to visible light. The telescope will be used to study many objects, including stars, planets, galaxies, and nebula. A near-infrared spectrometer will examine the spectrum of objects in the near-infrared spectrum, 
allowing astronomers to measure the chemical composition of objects and study their motion. The mid-infrared instrument is designed to image in the mid-infrared spectrum, the part of the infrared spectrum furthest from visible light. The device will be used to study special objects such as dust clouds and stars in the early stages of their formation. The fine guidance sensor and the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph are a combination of two devices. The fine guidance sensor will be used to focus the JWST, while the slitless spectrograph will capture images and properties of objects in the near-infrared spectrum. The JWST is a significant advancement over the Hubble, allowing it to examine a different part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hubble is an optical telescope designed to detect light in the visible part of the spectrum. But the JWST is an infrared detector designed to detect light in the infrared part of the spectrum. The JWST recently discovered six new galaxies as part of its mission to look back in time, examining the origin, composition, and formation of galaxies and searching for exoplanets. These newly discovered galaxies caught the attention of Earthlings and provided unprecedented insight into the early days of our universe. The galaxies described in a new study based on the first data Webb published are so distant that they appear only as tiny red dots in powerful telescopes. By analyzing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers determined that they observed them when the universe was still very, very young only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Early galaxies are not surprising in themselves. They are typically dense clouds of hydrogen atoms in space. But the galaxies seen in JWST's images appear very large, and their stars are very old. Experts say the new discovery contradicts existing theories about the early shape and evolution of the universe and is inconsistent with previous observations from Hubble. Joya Leja, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State, and one of the authors, said, We have some expectations about the types of galaxies found in the early universe. Studies using Hubble and other instruments often show early small blue baby galaxies, objects newly formed from the primordial cosmic fluid, forming stars, and patterns themselves. Generally speaking, young stars emit blue light. As they age, they burn fuel and cool, emitting more red light. But in the older galaxies observed by the JWST, astronomers see red stars, which they didn't expect, nor did they expect to see galaxies larger than a million suns. But at JWST's depth of vision, the red dots appear 50 times larger. The largest galaxies in our sample must be two to four times smaller than the Milky Way. Leija said, before astronomers start rewriting cosmology to explain how galaxies came together so quickly after the Big Bang, they need to make sure the red dots they see aren't something else. But most other explanations require a completely new concept. Leija added, For example, stars in the early universe may have been unusually bright due to the absence of heavy elements, and we may not have included these in our models. The discovery of stars forming from gas as stellar activity, which was not present in the early universe, would also be exciting and could lead to stars forming in the early universe. The most important thing is that the spectra provide a lot of discrimination to these objects. Leija said, according to research, the distance and identity of these objects are interrelated. If we know the distance, we can identify the object and vice versa. These findings are surprising. Just six months after JWST's team reported the first observations from the Great Observatory, scientists have already faced the unexpected challenge of rewriting their assumptions about the early universe. NASA said that when viewed as galaxies, some of the places they discovered resemble supermassive black holes, regions where massed matter accumulates billions of times the sun's mass, and the gravitational field is so strong that nothing not even light, can escape. However, experts say that although some of the six objects they discovered were black holes, this conclusion requires further investigation. This still indicates a significant shift in understanding despite later reports. The magnitude of the discovery suggests that there are 100 times more stars from this period than scientists had previously thought. 
The idea that the formation of a giant galaxy began early in the universe overturns what many astronomers thought about cosmic creation. According to science, these objects are called cosmic disruptors, and so far, they have lived up to their name. In a later statement from Penn State, Leah said, We are examining the universe for the first time, but we don't know what we will find. It turns out we found something unexpected that raises scientific questions. It questions the overall picture of early galaxy formation and our understanding of the universe. The first galaxy, GN11, is very compact and very large. It is the most distant galaxy discovered so far, with its light traveling more than 13 billion years to reach Earth when it is only 330 million years old. Although GN11 was created first, it is quite compact and similar in size to the Milky Way. But incredibly and surprisingly, it is 89 times larger than the Milky Way, allowing us to better understand galaxy formation. The second galaxy, called GANS1, is approximately 13.3 billion light years away. Its brightness level exceeded astronomers' expectations, being almost 100 times brighter than expected. This led astronomers to speculate that a population of stars might be forming at a rapid rate, potentially rewriting our understanding of the star formation process in the early universe. The third galaxy, GN9, is approximately 13 billion light years away from Earth. Similar to previous findings, many heavy elements such as oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen were also found. These elements, essential for life as we know it, are created in the centers of massive stars that explode as supernova and enrich the interstellar medium. The presence of heavy elements in this galaxy suggests that star formation and supernova explosions occurred in the early universe, an important step in the emergence of life. The fourth galaxy, called GN8, is located in the same region as the previous galaxy and has a very thin structure. This feature deformed earlier than previously thought, which could change our understanding of galaxy evolution. Additionally, the presence of heavy elements such as oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen in galaxies suggests that supernova explosions of massive stars producing heavy elements occurred earlier than previously thought. This implies that Earth's chemical evolution may be faster than previously understood, with implications for the formation of planets and the likelihood of early life. Finally, the discovery of the first galaxies necessitates adjustments to existing cosmological models. These models must account for the early formation of galaxies, the acceleration of the star formation rate, and the presence of heavy elements in the early universe. These observations lead us to rethink existing theories and models to gain a deeper and better understanding of the universe. By studying the formation and evolution of galaxies, we gain insight into the behavior of dark matter and dark energy, the chemical evolution of the universe, and the potential for life beyond Earth. Future cosmological studies will need to integrate these insights to help better understand the universe from its earliest times to its current state. With these discoveries and more to come in the future, scientists and astronomers will find themselves rethinking our ideas and theories about the universe and how it works. This definitely wouldn't be a bad thing.